In this tutorial, I will show you how to create Christmas balls like this one here. Now this is very simple to do in Corel Draw. Uh, let's analyze the picture first. So basically this one, I'm just going to move that there. So that's transparency. And we also have, I'm just going to click on this object here and move it, move it to the right side so that's also a transparency but I know that's gradient transparency so to make an illusion that it has a shadow or shading okay and this round thing is uh, we can use fish eye lens effect for that okay so now in order to recreate that I'm going to create the background first so I'm going to create a rectangle so okay I went here and then angle and then I'm going to make a, a fountain fill so I click on my fountain fill here and let's say I'll start from this color here I'm not going to make it exactly the same but I'll I'll will choose a different color so that one not really quite okay so I'll click on this okay let's say that one and then here I'll make it 90 degrees so that it would be from top to bottom and then I click OK, okay. so I have this one now now I'm going to create the stars okay that's the complex star actually so if you go here to complex star and then you click and drag okay. now in here it's nine points in the property bar here it says there it's nine points of the polygon so I can increase that by okay, clicking on that icon there to go to have more points and this one is the sharpness too okay, okay so let's say I'm happy with this okay I'm happy with this star what I'll do here if I want to get just the silhouette of it okay I click on it and I go to effects and click on create boundary so once you click create boundary you're gonna have two objects now this is the boundary and this one is the star so I can already delete that now I already have this one so I'll make it white and I'll remove the outline by mouse click on this X icon here right mouse click and the outline is gone now what I'll do, I will duplicate this one by 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 hitting the plus on your keyboard, and now I have this here. I have two duplicates now. Plus sign your keyboard or Control D, Control D, and there I have the that row. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this again. So hold down, uh, click on the plus sign your keyboard or control D and bring it down. Okay. But instead of bringing it down, I would offset it a little bit like that. Okay. Now I can select this row and then plus sign your keyboard or control D and move it down. Okay. Now I will, I will click on one okay and then I'll go to my keyboard and plus sign your keyboard again to duplicate and then I'll make it smaller okay and what I'll do I'll just alternate it like this okay so plus sign your keyboard or duplicate and I can make random stars plus sign so I'm just duplicating it there and maybe this one here I'm going to duplicate it again bring it down so now I have a little bit of pattern there because we're not really going to use the whole space now I'm okay with this pattern here so what I'll do I'll create a circle okay click on your ellipse tool and hold down control 
and click and drag to make a perfect circle I'll just maximize that rectangle and then I'm just going to position it here initially and I'll go to my uh, click on window and then you go to your dockers and click on the lens okay so your docker will show up here in the right side and in here I I choose fish eye and see now it goes like that and then you can control the fish eye lens by going to this this option here for the rate and percentage now I can still move it I'm going to see which is the best position here uh, let's see in here oh, let's do. okay so so it's up to you you can move move the circle wherever you want to put it and then once you're satisfied with the with the view let's say you're okay with this one let's say I'm fine with this I'll click on frozen okay so you click on frozen so that you have just that view and then you can move it out okay. now you don't need this anymore so I can delete this and move this down here okay. so now you notice in the original here I'm just gonna size it down I'm going to remove the outline by right mouse click on this now if you notice this one here yeah there's like a actually this one okay so how do we do that um, so, so it's very simple you click on your rectangular tool and then click and drag okay and then what you do is you convert this to curves first so you can edit the nodes so you go to arrange convert to curves Okay. so once you have convert to curves you go to your shape tool and you can move this like this and you can move it like this too or you can shape it like that now you can reshape the rectangle now in here if you notice this one it's like jagged right so what I'll do I'll go to my shape tool double click to create a node hold click double click I'll click, I'll click, I'll click, and maybe one more. I'll click. Okay. So now I have nodes already. So because I have nodes, if I go to my shape tool, then I can reshape my object. That, this one, and I probably need one more. So I'll double click here and there. Then you can just adjust it. So let's say I'm happy with this and I, what I need to do is I'm just going to put the, a gradient uh, fill on this one. So I go to my fountain fill and I think there's a preset here. I go to my preset and I think there's a cylinder gold. Let's say number two. Okay, it's not the one. Uh, gold number four. Let's say I'm okay with this one. Okay, see these triangles here. You can adjust the the gradients. Okay, let's say you're happy with that. You just click OK. Okay, I, I think I'm fine with this one. So, okay, so I'm just going to remove the outline by right mouse click here. And uh, now, if you notice here, it has like a a let's go here. It has like a from dark to light, right? So what you can do with your other key, you can go back to your font and fill. Okay. This one, you click on that rectangle and you can actually make that darker. Uh, it's too dark. Uh, I'll put that back to there. And this one actually, I'll make it uh, darker like this. I can make this one I can move that over and then okay mm so maybe this one will make it dark too just to have an illusion that it's a shadow I'll click OK, okay. and I can just mirror that if I want to 
to make to match it over here okay so I'm fine with that so I'll just put it here and then I'll put this I, actually I need one more object here so I'm going to create a rectangle like this go to my shape tool and then I'll just click on this node here and go to the right there and then I can um, plus sign in your keyboard or duplicate without offset and uh, I, I hold down shift hold down shift first and I click and drag this going in okay and then this two select these two objects and I'll combine it okay. so let's put it here okay. now I can copy the fill of this by going to my edit um, copy properties from okay. and it will ask you which properties you want I want the fill and click OK of this one here so now I have the same fill okay. I'll remove the outline by trout my right mouse click on here and I can move this over there and of course I have to bring that to back order to back of page and I can group this now by selecting these two and clicking on this icon or click on control G for a group so it's grouped together now okay. so I'm fine with this one now I'm going to create the see this illusion of uh, that it's round okay so what I'll do now I'll, I'll click on my circle here okay and I know it's 12.053 right so that's the that's the uh, the size of the circle or the diameter okay so if I go to effects and click on create boundaries it will create the boundary but sometimes we're creating the boundary especially if you have this one here it it also gets the boundary of the the star okay well, what you need to do if you have that kind of problem okay you can go to arrange and break curve apart okay and then you can just delete that part here you can do that okay now it's a pure circle now I'm going to choose a, a dark color any color you want you can also choose say a darker purple if you want like let's say that one it's more of experimenting but anyway after that let's just see this one if this will work so you go to your transparency tool and you go make it radial okay? and then in radial you can actually adjust your your lighting okay and then I would suggest this one here in the property bar you click on modify sorry not modify multiply and then this one you can move it over here and see if you like it okay but to center this one to here okay so you click on this one hold down shift and click on this one and type in C for vertical center and E for horizontal center okay so now it's centered what I can always experiment by clicking on the since it's a say so I can click let's say I'm gonna click no, it's not it's a black I can click on uh, let's say really black I'll try that one actually that one works fine now in here you notice this one should be to front so you select those two or it's actually grouped together go to arrange order to front of page okay so it's looking good now we only need we actually need a highlight which is this one here so the highlight is actually just a circle like that make it and then click on white okay 
and then remove the outline by drag mouse click on this one here the X icon and then you go to your transparency tool and then you click up and drag down there be some more there then you can also reposition it if you want to or if you want to make it a stronger color there okay it's looking more realistic now so now um, just want to check on this one you have to delete that there's something in there but anyway now I can now I can group this now uh, I can group it click on this icon here for group and I can make or create the string by clicking on the rectangular tool and make a string you can make a color of the string like that and just put it over this side and remove the outline there now I can copy this one I group it first control G or this icon here for group and then duplicate control D for duplicate and then make it smaller okay and we have to move this to back so arrange order to back of page or control end we can add one more control D make it smaller and make this to back of page so arrange order to back of page and we can there. there you go so you just created a Christmas ball it's very easy to do it in CorelDRAW